I'm Nick. I'm Steph. And this is the Invisible Hours. In VR. This guy? Yeah. All right. What do you know about this game? Nothing. Ooh. It's like a Gatsby font. Press cross button, looking at an object to pick it up. Grab your ticket. That's pretty cool. Insert your ticket into the slot. Boom. Hey! Hold Gosh. R2 to activate teleport. Right. So teleporting movement. Oh, that's, yeah. That tends to minimize the old uh, motion sickness there. Uh, right stick to rotate. And then that's like a four point turn. I came in shit there, I think. I think so, yeah. There's, there's arrows there. on the ground. Yeah. Oh, Steph. See, this is why you're the best. Mm. Oh, cool! It's like a play. The fancy box. Okay. Oh yes, we're quite wealthy. Oh yes, I love this. You are a coffee table. Right <laughs> this is not a game. This is not a movie. This is a piece of immersive theatre with many tangled threads. Explore the story, but remember, truth is a matter of perspective. I'm excited. I'm excited too. Oh, we can pause time. And fast forward! And you can rewind. That's the most important part, because if you make a mistake, then you can go back. Yeah, or like Particularly miss if you, a piece of dialogue. Yeah, talk to the wrong person, or you don't ask the right questions. Who's this guy? Is it Edison? Hello. Is he getting off the boat, or are we getting on? He's getting off. Uh, I, maybe I'm standing in his way? Do you want me to move? It's just or? very wet and... Oh, okay. this is very confronting. He's inside you. <laughs> Captain? When are you coming back? Captain! Oh no. Never! Stranded. Are we on an island? Please say we're on an island. Well, technically everything's an island. You know what I think this game is going to be about? Yeah? You land on the island, and then there's 99 other people on that island, and you have to fight, <laughs> <laughs> fight to the death, and the last person standing. I love the idea of uh, it's a chicken dinner. battlegrounds, but everyone is an inventor. <laughs> <laughs> like, celebrity battlegrounds. Yeah. Oh, no, stop! No! Uh, Is he gonna be like, how did you do that? <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Are we a. He doesn't seem to know that we're there, so I'm no. guessing we're just like a voyeur in this whole experience. I think we're getting, uh, getting a sense of the uh, Tacoma style. Like, you know, things are happening around us. Yeah, like, yeah, like a right, voyeur. Sort of right, right. It's a very Ooh, nice house. Spooky house! Uh, what was fast forward time again? Was it triangle? Come on, buddy. Or was that rewind? If that you can't teleport, no. get moving. Let's fast forward because the rain is going down. Just gonna wait for there he is. Come on, mate. You can do it. Oh, he's chosen to go to the gazebo. Oh, yeah, there's such a nice house there. I don't understand it. Maybe he's taking the scenic route. Yes, I can teleport you. Oh, who's this? Miss? <laughs> Miss? Are you alright? I'm fine. The evidence seems to suggest otherwise. Would you tell me your name, please? Flora White. She seems hysterical. Put her in the I'm asylum. Quite certain, Mr. <laughs> That's just the solution at yeah. this time period. Hysterectomy, let's go. Do you know him? Do I know who? Tesla, do you know Mr. Tesla? Is he your friend? My friend? No. Character acting's quite good. Yeah. No, I never met him. Then he won't listen to you. He won't let me in. I'm quite certain Mr. Tesla is a man of common decency. Of course he, he'll let you inside. Oh, please. You won her over. Good job. Okay, well, we're very caring. That's now, what makes you think Mr. Tesla won't let you inside? He told me so. He already turned me away. I'm like a director. I love her. Let's she stumbled. For... Oh, She's no. so weak. She swooned. We'll go for a close-up. Yes. Too close! <laughs> I believe this could be yours. Oh dear God, thank you. The oh, locket. Thank you, I couldn't bear to lose this. It's very oh, wait. pretty. I put a suitcase in his head! Hang on. He seems very confused by it. Let's pause time. I didn't realise I could pick up things that were in the, um, in the yeah, world already. Yeah, it's like so that you can examine it? Or... Right, cool. The man's bag was brown in appearance and had a few <laughs> stickers on it. <laughs> I love it. Oh yeah, can we pick up the necklace? It did it did look shiny. 
How do I get my face? Probably. Excuse me, madam. <laughs> Um, I feel like this is harassment at this point. I'm, there was I'm, a, if you rewound, because he picked it up at one point, you might have been able to pick it up then. Oh, let's try that. Uh, I'm disturbed by how tall I am, because I feel like a, um... But you're like, you're kind of a, a just a ethereal presence. You, you don't have, you don't have height or mass. I, you don't, I don't have height or mass. Uh, so she stumbled, and that's the locket there. Oh, there it is! Good call, Steph! Yes! I went too far. I went too far. E. <laughs> no. E. I did it. Is that the Eiffel Tower? It says, it's, I think it's the letter A. Oh. Maybe. For Eiffel Tower. No, there's a picture inside. That's Nikola Tesla for sure. It totally is. Old Tessels. You're very kind, Mr. Gustav. But I'm afraid this is a private matter. Oh. What did she say was a private matter? Uh, I think she just said this is a private matter. Oh, right. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. Now back up. Now side up. Nice. You're like a director in this film. Look at me go. Oh, I just crossed the line. That's no good. <laughs> I still don't really know what that is. Ooh. I like how stormy it is right now. The door. Yeah. <laughs> it's very strange sitting this close to someone. It's open. Like, oh, was that your head or the chair? <laughs> that was my head. That was your head? I did it on purpose. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, just let's get in here. Oh. Oh, I thought it was a Klansman. What the hell? There's been a murder! <laughs> oh, you oh, She's it. gonna flip out. Is he alright? <laughs> Is he alright? She didn't flip out at all. Well, we, I think we know who did yeah. it. No! Stand back, miss. You've killed enough for today. I love how he's like, his head is lying in a pool of blood and she's like, mm, is he okay? And he's got a gun. He's having a nap. So there's a few things you can look at. There's yeah, a gun. Yeah, so I might, I might pause this right now. Yeah. Uh, Examine some shit. This is so my kind of game. This is, I love this stuff. I reckon it was... That dickhead! <laughs> it, it was, uh, Miss, Th what's her name? Uh, Butterfingers Miss, in the laboratory? Miss Butterfingers... Uh, in the library. We talk about her? Yeah. Yeah. With the... You know what it is? What is it? I bet you wind a clock with it. Everything that looks weird in this time period was used for winding clocks. I, I think you're right. I think it's a lever of some description. Yeah, a clock. From some crazy machine he was working on. Like a, and then a, someone a came in and was like, I want to use the machine. And he's like, not without this lever. And then he ran away and then, bam, he got shot. And then... They planted the gun next to him? To make it look like a suicide? Yes. Yep. And then she ran out because she was in love with the person that did it. Oh, so yeah. it wasn't actually her. She's just an accomplice. Should we check out the guy over here with the cool shades? Yes. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this mother. Look at him. How cool is this guy? Yeah, he's pretty well Unless dressed. he's blind, in which case I think I'm being offensive. <laughs> well, we don't know yet. It's right there. This is very strange. Oh, you're there. Okay, cool. Oh, and we got one more thing here. So... A gong. This is the dinner gong. Ring it. Ring. Oh, you can't. We can't. We, we can't actually affect things in the world, can we? <laughs> Apart from time. Ooh, I can use the trophy. No, nothing. Do we live? Uh, in, are we living inside a memory? Is that what's happening? Yeah. I mean, it's it's not really uh, it's not really clear, is it? Let's find out. Though. Uh, okay. So we've picked up everything we can pick up. Okay. Now what we need to pick up is the truth. <laughs> What's going on here? Ah, Detective Gustav, I assume. My apologies, I, I didn't huh. hear the bell. You must be exhausted. Sweden is a long way to come from. Seems it's very relaxed about this. Gustav Sweden. is Swedish. I will show you Do we know what his profession is? Stop. You know there's a dick out here. I, I am Oliver Swan, sir. Mr. Tesla's manservant. What happened here? Oh, you're totally right, he's blind. What, what do you mean, sir? Oh, no. He can't see the body. Are you blind? We'll yes, cut all sir. that bit from before. Blind from that? Oh shit. Someone break it to him. You do it. Is he? If it's anything for a gun? Three of us. Yeah, I think he was. They all have guns. How many people in this house? Four. Sir? Call them down immediately. Bang the gun. Sir? Bang it, man! <laughs> Bang the gun right now! <laughs> Mr. Swan? Sir? 
How many exits in this building? Only the front door, sir. But all the windows can be opened from the inside. Oh, you can follow people. Oh, that's cool. What is it? He doesn't know it. That's the murder weapon. Why the devil is the dinner going to be going at such an hour? Who's this guy? My God. Is he dead? Mr. Swan, God, stay they're all taking it so well. They have to, otherwise we would like we would know immediately who it was. Who are you? Edison. Thomas Edison. That's Edison. Edison. That's Edison. Look at that hero. Tesla invited me. Who are you? My name is Gustav Gustav. Gustav Gustav? That's what? right. Detective so good they named him twice. The detective. Okay, so Gustav is a detective. Yeah, oh, this is like Inspector Hound. Of course. Inspector yeah, Hound. Yeah, that was quite Shakespeare. It's fantastic. Who are all these? Hang on a second. Hang on. Just very quickly. How far can I actually go here? Can I go through? I could go everywhere. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure the whole house you have to yourself. No, but I mean, I mean, like right now while they're having all these conversations. Yeah, but I feel like we want to be listening to those conversations. No, we do. Right? Of course we do. Of course. Uh, look, look, look. Unless you want to go like catch someone in the act. Of the some act. kind of salacious activity. So I'll, I'll just rewind a little bit because I missed who this woman is. And action. My name is Gustav Gustav. Gustav Gustav? That's right. The detective so good they named him twice. You've heard of me, madam. I read about you in the papers, of course. Apparently so. Your downfall was quite Shakespearean. Who are you? I don't know what kind of detective doesn't recognize the most famous stage actress in the world. Oh, awkward. That's Sarah Bernhardt. The Divine Sarah? Sarah Bernhardt. Edison's a real dick. And He's you. Dick. What's up with Sheldon from Big Bang Theory up there as well? I'm Marcus van der Berg's son. The famous railroad magnate. I can't be here. I, I've got to get out ah, of here. Fuck. Going anywhere. Well, I can't be here. I mean, what are people going to say? They'll say Tessa had himself an accident. Oh, had himself no an accident. accident. With a gun. Yeah. <laughs> he died from a blow to his head, and the blood has only started congealing around the edges. This happened <sighs> less than ten minutes ago. What? What does that mean? Oh, we gotta to keep this guy up to speed. Mm. We all are. We can't leave him like this. I need to mark the time of death. My pocket watch is still on Swedish time. Mr. Edison, you are an American. You have the local time, yes? Oh, he's so oh, awkward. He looks so old. The time, please. Damn it, Edison. Six o'clock. Exactly six. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> and you didn't... Oh, I was about to say, you didn't hear a clock because you didn't have the handle to crank it, but they totally thought of that. The, the clock tolls six. Everyone is just quiet because, oh, we put a sheet on him, that's why. We respect the dead and all that. Nobody moves! Oh my god, he's a maniac. Wait, who's this? Who are you? The killer! Hey! Oh! Stop! Turn around! Who is this guy? Groundskeeper? Another inventor? I'm unarmed. I hope so. Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Hamilton. Back to the house. So, I'm loving this so far. The only thing I don't like is the amount of time it takes for the next voice line to activate. Yeah. Like, it's a real mood killer. Come on, you knob. Hurry it up. Mr. Swan, where's the dining room? That way, sir. And we have a telephone there, too. Sarah Bernhardt just uh, inching her way <laughs> yeah. across. Well, I think a... pulling focus is the I'm word you're looking for. I yeah. wonder if Tesla has a set of gallows around here somewhere. Oh god, you're such a dude. Um, you cannot house. take the law into your hands, sir. You I invented light, I can do what I like. <laughs> invented light. He did, he came up with it. Before that, everyone was just like, shit, it's so dark all the time. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're heading to the um, dining room. This is such a strange little parade of people. Mm. Why are you still here? It really is like a big game of Cluedo, though, isn't it? What are you doing, you freak? You suck. Oh. Why are you not? Oh, you just shut the door. I must confess, Miss Bernhardt. Oh, she's still there. I'm quite a fan of yours. Does that surprise you? Oh, I love, I love being able to follow different conversations. You know who I am, of course. Oh God, just. Oh, when your name is up in lights, those are my lights. Oh, baby! You are quite beautiful. 
You are far too easy. I prefer dangerous men. Oh. Dangerous men. Oh. It's kind of annoying that like you have to be within close proximity to them dangerous. to get like a good sound. Audio? Yeah. Because they're having a conversation across the room right now. What is the worst thing you have ever done? You couldn't handle it. <laughs> oh my god, he's such a rogue. This is really terrible flirting. Your makeup is very thick. Oh, okay, we're not flirting now anymore. He's, he's just, negging he's her now. He's negging her. <laughs> Perhaps I will accompany you to your bedroom. Oh. Later. Later? It worked! Wow. Holy safe up there. She seems the least affected by the whole situation. She was like, oh, there's a detective here. Anyway, come to bed later. <laughs> yeah, totally. And then she just left. Everyone else is like gone to try and like sort out the situation. And they're, well, but I mean, he's taking it pretty well as well. That's true. But I feel like he's a red herring because we, we already dislike him. So I feel like yeah, right. they wouldn't make him the killer because but it's like we too obviously dislike him at the moment and he seems shifty. Yeah, true. Other than inviting your own murderer, your tasting guests is impeccable. What a scene. Mm. What a scene. Okay, I'm going to hand it over to you. Yeah. So you're going to jump into the dining room. All right, patting him down. What's this? My last will and testament. Strange thing to travel with. If you die without a will, then they auction off everything you had. Why did you run, Mr. Mundy? Because I'm a murderer. Sir, Mr. Mundy is here by invitation. Same as you and the other guests. Sir, the local police can take charge of this matter for you. Local police? Do the Swedish police even have jurisdiction in this area? That's what I want to know. That's a good point. He's yeah. from Sweden. He's presuming What's he a doing lot. here he's... doing police work? Maybe he's just going to like perform a citizen's arrest using right. his skills. Please yeah. connect me to the police, please. Hello, Who's that? Police? Uh, this is Gustav Alexander Gustav. Hamilton. I'm... Who's that? Alexander yeah, Hamilton. Swedish. I'm calling from Mr. Tesla's island. There's been a murder here, and I need you to send a boat immediately. I'm gonna warm ourselves by the fire. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you said Mr. Tesla turned you away. Why would he do that? I was his assistant. A few months ago, he fired me without notice. I came here to beg for my job back. I need money, but he wouldn't even let me inside to talk. Bastard. Proportionally, it's here. weird, isn't it? They seem it, like children. Yes. I told you. Take this. Search each floor and report back to me. Really? You only just met. I trust you. Why? I could be the killer for all you know. Thank you. No, you couldn't. Because when I met you out in the rain, there were no footprints around you. <gasps> Very well observed, Gustav, Gustav. In this weather... That kind of soil, rain takes at least 20 minutes to wash away footprints. Which means that you were sitting exactly where I found you for at least 20 minutes before I arrived. Oh. But Mr. Tesla was killed less than 10 minutes before we found him. Wow, that's some so you crazy see, logic. You're the only person I can trust in this house. The most impressive the part is that you noticed there were no footsteps before you knew there was a murder. Mm. That feels like the kind of detail only a murderer would know! What's this guy doing in the background? What's he doing over there? He's just casually observing. I cannot believe he handed a woman he's never met before a loaded weapon in a house where someone... Like, she might have, I don't know, swung her way to that bungalow. He thinks she has too delicate a disposition to commit murder. He's smitten. It's just the stupid thinking of the time. It's and inherent sexism. You know, we know she's hysterical. I, I truly believe this, Steph. I genuinely believe that you're more likely to kill some, someone than me. Rich. <laughs> I mean it. I'm not even playing. I don't. Eldest son of railroad magnate Marcus Vanderberg drowned last night while playing on the ice of Longton River with his brother Augustus. Mm. Heir to the family riches, Marcus was often hailed by his father as the better son. Wow. Ooh. I cannot believe a newspaper printed that. Uh, so that's uh, 1885. Augustus is in the house with us. Yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming Augustus killed his brother, right? Oh, got it. He killed the better son. Yep. Got all the money. Yep. And, exactly uh, what Harry's going to do to William. So, you killed Mr. Tesla? You say I did. Really? Why would I say that? Because I killed before. I killed my wife. And a bit on the side of the 26 years behind bars for it. 
So I'm an easy scapegoat for something like this. That's why I ran. And why did you come? Because I got a letter. Out of the blue. Tesla said he can change my life. Make my mistake undone. Let's just say he got my attention. Ooh. Time travel. He said the same to you, didn't he? <laughs> what we're doing! Oh. Right. Sorry, I'm just gonna pause it so we don't miss it. Okay, so, so. Hit me. This guy committed a horrible crime. I just wanna, I don't know what guy you're pointing at because you're pointing at the wall. Sorry, the, the suspect. Oh yeah, yep, 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 yep. Committed an awful crime. 20 years ago. Murdered his wife and her lover when he found out she was being unfaithful. Bit on the side, thank you very much. Bit on the side. Was in prison for it. Yep. Then receives a message from some weirdo called Nikola Tesla saying he could change his life. Yeah. You think it's time travel. Go back. Like, not, like, not kill anyone. Live his whole life over. Make different choices. Because, uh, it's, uh, I, I mean, most of my knowledge, like all of us, of Nikola Tesla does come from David Bowie and The Prestige. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> there he was working on, spoilers for The Prestige, like, Teleportation. Pretty much. And so I don't think it's within the stretching the realms of believability of what I assume is a fake version of Nikola Tesla in the first place to think that he was working on time travel. And we are time travelers in this space. So I reckon the big twist is like, we're fucking Nikola Tesla. Not fucking Nikola Tesla. We are Nikola Tesla. <laughs> um, That'd be good. Yeah, like we've already said yes to this thing. What's this guy's deal then? And by this guy, I mean Gustav. Gustav Gustav? Yeah, He's so just if got a Nikola, sick Tesla, name. Nikola Tesla called a detective to yep. this location, is that because he knew that he was going to die and he needed someone to solve the murder? I reckon the whole thing is a giant setup and at the end he's going to be like, I was here the entire time and I am the player. <laughs> that is it. That is the ending of this game. We don't need to play anymore. We just figured it out. All right. First I'd ever heard of him when I got a letter. And when I got you, the blind bloke opened the door. First time I'd ever seen Tesla or any of the other guests is when you found him. Not much of an alibi, Mr. Mundy. A blind man. Oh, he's got to hit him with the chair. When I killed my wife, my daughter was... Last will and testament of Victor Mundy. I, Victor Mundy, direct that all estate, inheritance and other death taxes shall be paid as an expense of an administration upon my death. Any remaining assets to my name shall be left in whole to my beloved dog, Lucky. Signed, Victor Mundy. Oh, that's sweet. That's nice. I mean, what, what the hell's a dog going to do with a house? But what Little else? Mary Mundy. Seven years old she was back then. But those fancy men in their wigs, they believed her. That's why I snuck a knife into the courtroom. I went for her throat, but I missed. I took her nose clean off her face. Ooh. A juicy little scrap for the courthouse dog. Gross. I still dream about finally gutting that ungrateful bitch, whatever she is now. Ooh. Why are you telling me this? Because you need to understand. If I want to kill someone, I don't hide it. I don't lie. People lie because they're afraid. And I ain't afraid of nothing. What about you? Me? I don't like violent men, Mr. Mundy. <laughs> they bring out the worst in me. Fair. More violence. Do not try to leave this house before my investigation is over. You can go. <laughs> For now. This house is just filled with uh, alpha males. <laughs> so now, what's been going on? Well, we've been in here. That's what we need to find out in the next episode of The Invisible Hours. Is that, are we done already? That was the cue for the end of the episode. Oh. I, we should have planned that out beforehand. Okay, but... Because of the stuff going on up there. She's angry that it's the end of The Invisible Hours. Oh, I'm so in. Ooh, it's a good old-fashioned whodunit. I'm so in. I, I love this. I love that we love this as well. This yeah. is a, This is a good combination of the time period that you love and the kinds of stories that you love. Yeah. And uh, the game mechanics that I love and the kinds of stories that I love. So it's 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 a perfect melding. So what do we know so far? Nikola Tesla invites a bunch of people over. He's M most, murdered. Most of whom are like f famous in some, some respect. Actors, inventors. Railroad magnate. Yeah. 
detectives. Uh, he gets killed, uh, and uh, and we go, why did he invite everybody over? Um, and, uh, well, not um, get killed, but uh, why are they all here in the first place? Our working theory is he's working on time travel, and he knew that this was going to happen, and that's why he's brought everyone together for... To, to solve his own murder. Do you reckon he's just doing it for kicks? Like, he just wants a show, so that's why he's Maybe. done Maybe. I mean, I hope we get a, a thing at the end where Nikola Tesla walks us through all of the moments where he's like, and then I knew this would happen, so I did this. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I love that as an idea. Uh, the game publisher to Killer Works made another game, which I'm gonna pimp right now, The Sexy Brutale, which I adored. It's almost exactly the same as this, uh, but it's a top-down sort of thing, but it's the same idea. A mansion where you go around following different people in time. Oh. They know how to do this kind of game, so they must have seen something in this that uh, is, is really compelling, and uh, I'm into it. Like I said, the only thing that I'm not crazy about at the moment is the activation of the voice lines, it takes a while for people to, like, the yeah. conversation doesn't th flow naturally. No, no, it's a little bit stilted, and I find just sort of the moving mechanic in VR is a little bit difficult to get the hang of. There's times when it's really, it works really well, like I feel like I'm, I'm a director of a film being yeah. like, and now this angle, and now this shot. Yeah. And those are the times that I just get when really you screw it up. stuck, and I'm like, my head's back this way, and I'm trying to look at something over there, and it's a bit frustrating. Totally. But I think, like, ultimately, it's a really cool idea, and I just love the thought that there are conversations happening at the same time somewhere else yeah. that I know that I'll get to go back in time and, and listen to yeah, as well. Yeah, I love this kind of mechanic. So if you want to see more of this, uh, and we hope you do because we certainly do, uh, let us know in the comments and, and we'll keep playing it through. But uh, but I'm in. I'm so in. I'm so in. Who, who did it? Who done it? Tesla. To himself. Took the thing and he went boom. We'll just put in <laughs> blood pooling here.